way to make a statement in any room is with bold, colorful, and whimsical pop art. Hi, I'm Romero Brito. I'm the founder of the Happy Art Movement. Welcome to the Brito Palace. We get a behind the scenes tour of the new Romero Brito Palace and show you how to add color to any room in your home with bold pop art on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. Today we're here at the Romero Brito Palace to talk about ways to add color to your home decor. And what better place to do that, right? There are very few things more iconic to the art and design of South Florida than the colorful and bold pop art of Romero Brito. Hi, Romero. Hello, Elena. How are you? Good. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Oh, thank you so much. Great to have you here. Well, we're excited to be here and to give our viewers a sneak peek into the Brito Palace, this new yeah. 60,000 square foot space. Yes. So it's an amazing creative space and you've got so many things that, of course, for the home is what we focus on. So how important is it for you to be able to, to bring that to everyone? Well, I mean, ways. I definitely, I mean, it would be a sad story for an artist, or like someone like myself or any other artist, when you do art and you just want yourself to enjoy, you don't want to share with people. Now, for you, is there a rule of how much art is too much? I mean, we are surrounded by a lot of art, and I think it's, it's more is more, or do you have a philosophy on that? Every person is a story. Your home tells a little bit about you. Yes. So if you're the kind of person that is very, you know, that is very minimalistic, so so you're gonna go to minimalism, you know. Might you just go, be one like piece. one picture of the wall, there right. you go. Nothing else, a furniture, a chair, and there you go. But if somebody's more exuberant, and then you go. If somebody, it, it's all depend because sometimes there's no connection between the person living in the house, and that's why sometimes people can't live in their house, and they get rid of the house so fast. The house is a place that you collect, you know, you put this like a storytelling, basically. So telling yeah. your story, and then also adding a little color as well. Yes. Romero, so the entry of the Brito Palace is so amazing. When you walk in, I mean, we are just surrounded by all of your colorful and beautiful work, but there are some other things that are here that I think are pretty cool and might even have some uh, hidden things in them. This doorway is completely, uh, we like to share like cool ways you could hide doors and this is a great way to really do that. The palace is fragments of things that is in the on, on, in my past in the in the you know right now that and also think the vision of the future is all together you know what I mean so when you see this door there it reminds me a lot of my first ever time you know in Paris as we're looking for a door and how we're gonna go from this room in here to the other one and we decide about getting one of those doors from France you know and basically that's you know an idea and uh, we incorporate a little bit of my work in there the palace is such a cool space and I cannot wait to bring our viewers through it and learn a little bit more about yes. you, your artwork, inspiration, and some new products that you've got coming for the home. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we look at a new medium to bring colorful artwork to your home. I'm Tac Granada with FHIA and we're going to talk about why it's so important to be prepared early this year for hurricane season on today's SoFlo Home Project. racetrack but over here this is Gulfstream Park Village and after all of the time that you've spent at home recently I bet your home can use a summer makeover. Well SoFlo Home Project and Gulfstream Park Village want to help with our home sweet home stores at Gulfstream Village gift card giveaway. The prize is $5,000 in gift cards from the 10 home stores here at Gulfstream Park Village. Stay where you are to learn how to register to win, but first, let's check out one of the 10 home stores here at Gulfstream Park Village. This is West Elm. Hi. 
Hi Elena, welcome. Thanks Andrew. So we are looking for what's new and exciting with living room furniture and you've got a great setup right here. Well you came at a great time. Um, right here, this is actually one of our best and newest footprints in the store. That is so in right now, sort of bringing that Super, natural wood. Yeah. I love those. One of the biggest trends for summer right now is kind of citrusy muted tones. So we have that in the pillows and that's kind of bringing all of this together and kind of making it work. Really nice. And of course, with all these natural fabrics and organic feel, what would that be without some greenery? That's true, and I think one of the best things about West Elm is we always try to offset all of our furniture with live greenery. It really kind of livens up the space and makes it feel homey and kind of welcoming. Well, I can't wait to see what else you've got because this has been a great introduction so far. So Andrew, we just saw some great stuff for larger living rooms, but sometimes in smaller spaces, we need some great furnishings for that too, and this looks like the perfect solution. It what have is. you got? This is actually one of our newest sofas. It's the Marin sofa, and this is um, our new shelter day bed. Both of these are amazing choices for a smaller space. Now let's talk about lighting, because this is amazing, and we've got some great table lamps as well as floor lamps. What collection is this? So this is actually our Trace chandelier collection. Collection. Great thing about this, it comes in different sizes and different finishes. So you could definitely Perfect. choose the right one that's right for your space. All great choices, all on trend, and there's so much more. So thank you so much for sharing just a little bit of all the trends here at West Elm. Oh, you're very welcome. To register to win $5,000 in gift cards from the 10 home stores at Gulfstream Park Village, go to local10.com forward slash contest. It's fast and easy, and you could be the winner. And next week, I'll show you some great outdoor furnishing options from right here next door at Pottery Barn, one of the home stores at Gulfstream Park Village. Ten home stores, one address. And there are only four weeks left to enter our contest, so good luck. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are here with Ramiro Brito at the Brito Palace, checking out all things colorful and bright, and of course, his artwork. Ramiro, so your artwork can adorn many areas of the home and beyond, but a new and exciting way, I think, is what's right here behind us. Let's yes, talk about this. This is a collaboration that I'm doing now with Iberia Tiles. Really amazing because the color came out so spectacular right here in the kitchen at the palace. And what's so cool about that is when you think about the properties of tile. Tile is a great material in areas that you might not be able to use it otherwise. So like this is going to be durable on a backsplash in a kitchen. Yeah. Water can splash. It's not going to ruin anything. Yes. So it's exciting to see ways that we can continue to bring your art throughout the home. And this is such a great way. It's great, right? Well, the colors are so true to what we see in your artwork. Did that, to just get that just right, take yeah, a lot of time? very much, very much. Really beautiful. I love it. Well, and also what's nice about this, so again, durable product but people could pick from a variety of your works to be printed on the tile. Exactly, yeah. And it, and it can be also, we can do like one of a kind as well. Um, we can do large size, the sky's the limit. The bigger the better. Your art on tile is so striking and we say the kitchen is the heart of the home yes. and of course the center of many gatherings with family and friends so why not adorn that with something as bold as this. Yes, yes, you're totally right. The heart of the palace is this kitchen here. It is a great way to bring the artwork onto the wall and there are some other ways that we can bring your artwork on tile into other non-traditional rooms in the home and we are gonna check that out. But first, let's see what Tac Granada from FHIA has for us today. Normally we start talking about how important it is to be prepared for hurricane season right around the beginning of June. This year it's really important to start that process probably about a month earlier because of how difficult it is right now uh, getting products from manufacturers. One of the things that we've seen across the board in all products, whether it's windows, roofing, or anything related to home improvement projects, it's really difficult and manufacturers are really backed up and a lot of delivery times have been delayed significantly. This year in hurricane windows, it's really difficult. We're looking at for some contractors, five to six month lead times on when manufacturers are gonna be able to deliver windows. So when we start thinking about hurricane season and when the height of hurricane season generally occurs here in South Florida, we look at that August, September, October timeframe where normally if we looked at the process in June, we'd be all set, no problem to have windows 
custom made, manufactured, uh, installed in plenty of time before August. Well, this year is very different. That timetable needs to be moved up in hopes of getting the product. Over the last several years, we talked a lot about how important it is to choose the most reliable contractor and make the best decision as it relates to the contractor you choose to do your project. And now more than ever, that's really imperative because some of the smaller contractors when there's a big delay in manufacturing, they're gonna be the last ones to get their products. So now more than ever, financial viability of the contractor you choose is really important to ensure that they're able to get the products necessary to do your project. So I know there's a lot of things to consider when you're making this decision, and there's a lot of things as it relates to windows and installation, but it's really important that you know a lot about the contractor and really feel confident in them that they'll be able to perform this project and get it done in a timely manner so that you don't get left in the middle. So remember, this year above everything else, it's really important to start early and be prepared for this hurricane season. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So Ramiro, we talked about your work on tile being able to be used in kitchens, but another great place for tile is the bath. And of course, here at the Brito Palace, you have a pretty spectacular mosaic mural of your work in some of the bathrooms. Yes, yes, it looks fantastic. And as a matter of fact, I have a collector of mine that he did an entire, you know, bathroom. It's huge, you know, his beautiful, super modern home here in the Gables that he did the entire bathroom with hearts. It looks so fantastic. That is it's so awesome when you think about that because there's so many different areas not just the shower area you can frame out around a mirror you can do an accent wall perhaps there is a curved wall mosaic can pretty much cover any surface so it's a great thing is it exciting for you to be able to have your work in so many different applications like that no it's beyond exciting because imagine you know, like something that can last so long you know and then you can put it like in a place that otherwise you know paper can't Put, yeah, this would yeah. be impossible. It's a dream come true. Tile is a newer thing and I think it's so fitting. What made you want to get into that space? Was it something that you felt was like a void that was missing? Well, it was a, it was a mix between both, you know, because I, of course, I always appreciate tiles. You know, I was born in Brazil and Brazil is part of Brazil. There's so many tiles from Portugal, buildings, churches, covered with beautiful blue and white tiles. And I always was mesmerized by how beautiful they are. And um, then and they were opportunity came to bring my art into tile form. When it comes to bringing your artwork to tile, I think something really interesting to point out to our viewers is that a lot of the times art, if you're selecting for a piece of art for your bathroom or another area, it's got to be a certain size. But with the tile, yeah. that could be size to fit any wall. You don't have to worry about hanging anything there. And when you get inside the bathroom, it's such a beautiful surprise for a guest. It's exciting to see artwork on tile. And there are so many other areas yes. of the home and outside the home that we can continue to use it. And we're going to check those out when we come back. Coming up next, we get a look into the process of transferring art to mosaic tile. Soflo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are continuing our day here at the Brito Palace with Romero Brito. It's been so much fun seeing not only all of your work in this palace, but also learning about some other ways to bring your artwork into the home. Yes, as you can see here, look at how beautiful it looks like this uh, meeting room here. We definitely were thinking about what could you do to make this meeting room, you know, more fun and more colorful. And I've done so many Zoom meetings in here. So you you've know. got the ultimate Zoom background. Yeah. Right so if yeah. you're thinking about that, you could cover your entire wall with mosaic. Exactly. You can do everything with, with a mosaic. You know, basically, you know, it's great and easy way to maintain. So really, I mean, because it is a tile, and of course, it could be used indoors. We talked about in like bathrooms in wet areas, right. but also outdoors. Yes, you can put this definitely outdoors anywhere in your house. It makes a statement, and I feel like that's what, again, art is all about. It's making a statement, bringing in bold and beautiful colors, and it's just awesome. And I, I wanted to yeah. share with the viewers so they could kind of see, this is so yeah. lightweight and flexible. So yeah. sometimes you could bring, <laughs> you could bring art onto a column, or even things that aren't necessarily, sometimes columns are not beautiful, they're concrete, yeah. and they need 
need a little adorning. You can curve the whole thing, put in a column. Yeah, a no, to... I love so much how it came out. When you think about bringing tile outdoors with art, it's one more way to really just add a pop of color and yeah. something fun. As your jacket is, it's beautiful. Oh, so I dress to match. Colors everything. <laughs> you know, the world should be more colorful and more happy and fun. A lot of architects, like, they love concrete walls. But I think it's great to have also an art on it. Something a little know? different. So as an artist, you've done a lot of murals, and I'm sure a lot that were outdoors. But paint can fade in time. Yes. The tile is such a great solution. It's a for great that. solution. I definitely stopped painting murals. I did many, many years ago. But one thing that's really detrimental for an artist, and even for somebody that collect, is to see a piece of art falling apart. Because there's no paint that's going to last that long. Right. You know what Everything I mean? Like, could fade in time. Even if you time. have the most beautiful paint in the world, like if you paint cars, Rolls Royce, if you don't maintain, if you live in the sun day and night for 20 years, that is going to go gone. So it's going to be very sad to see a lot of art that was painted, you know, in cities around the globe, and they're going to start really becoming like falling apart. So this so is such a nice solution. Tile is really fantastic to be able to get a commission to do work on tile because, you know, definitely you're going to bypass the effects that the sun have, you know, in anything. I love the sun, but the sun can The UV rays will fade. Can make it and can break it. But not tile. Yes. Tile yeah. will not fade with any UV rays. Which, exactly, yeah. Well, this has been great, and we've got a lot more to see. Yes. So when we come back, we will show you a little bit more behind the scenes at the Brito Palace. Yes. Next on SoFlo Home Project, we get an inside look at Romero's private studio. SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're here with Romero Brito. Hello. At the Brito Palace. And Romero, before the break, we were showing viewers how your art is everywhere, including on beautiful tile. But I thought it would be really fun to take them behind the scenes in your studio. Yes, this is where all the magic happened. This is my favorite. You know, like, it's like a candy this bar. This is cool, by the way. Yeah, because so what it, is, this is like in cases everything keeps it fresh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, for my paint, you know, this is like, you had to open like this, and then uh -oh. I go one by one, and it's like, I'm doing the color selection. Let, let's say like this piece here, when I was doing the color selection, I was coming over here and picking up the colors, let's say like this red in here, or this favorite color, that I, this is my favorite. Everything is so neatly organized, yellow, too. so delicious. Sometimes I feel like eating it. <laughs> This is great. This work is in progress. This one is also in progress. And, um, so and it also, starts like this? Yeah, like start like that, the sketch. I, first I do the sketch, and after I do the sketch, I start adding the colors and everything. So this would be like sort of like midway? Well, yeah, this is still, I'm, I'm still selecting colors. It's very complicated because it's a very detailed piece, and, and I can't wait to see it finished, but you know, I'm doing little by little because I have so many other things. So how many paintings do you usually work on at one time? Well, it all depends. Right now, I don't have a lot of work with me in this studio, but usually I have a lot of pieces. You know, I'm focusing on those pieces right now. But I have a lot of other pieces that my assistants have also, you know, help me fill in colors because, you know, I work constantly and they go to the other room and the other room, the other room, the other room. So yeah. This is a big place, 60,000 square yes. feet. There's a lot of rooms. Yeah, there's a lot of rooms, <laughs> so many rooms. But this one is a very special one because this is your personal studio yes. space. Now, I've looked around and I love the way everything is decorated with, it looks like all different uh, things from your entire career. And I feel like probably a great place to get Get the creative flow. What happened is that this is so spontaneous the way everything is here. It's like life, you know, it's just happened, you know. So here in the studio, you know, when you see this area here, it was just it all great sort of intentions. Comes together. You know, feeling, love, and that's what happened. When there's good intention, there's love, you know, things end up being beautiful. So well it is a great space, very inspiring. We just moved to this building here. So well, that's impressive because this looks so perfectly done. Yeah, it is unprecedented for you you but I can only say thanks for you know to the team because you know I could never do all this without the team and I have incredible team in here well it looks beautiful and I Thank think you. when it comes to your artwork I feel like that also works so well with other things no, which is what's so nice so about it yeah. you could put multiple pieces together 
and they could be completely different subject matters, but they just all work. And of course, they're so iconic and look. And now, we talked about it before, the yes. tile with your artwork on it. I know, I love this so much. It is beautiful. So great, right? And we talked about different sizes of tile. On it Super it. smooth, very so nice great, texture right? here, like a very smooth texture, and of course, durable. Nothing will ever happen to this, and that's yeah. the good thing about it. Your art is amazing, and I feel like it knows no bounds. It's You see it everywhere, and now you could bring it right to your home in so many ways. Yes. No, I'm really beyond thrill I mean, for this collaboration with Iberia Tiles and I think it's such a great way to add you know something to your home. We also have a very special giveaway for our viewers. For a chance to win a custom mural from the Romero Brito collection for Iberia Tile, go and head over to our Instagram page for all of the details on how to enter and, and good luck. So Ramiro, I want to thank you for giving us this personal tour through the Burrito Palace and then showing us a little behind the scenes of your process. This has truly been a treat and I hope our viewers at home really enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. So thank you so much. Now my pleasure. I'm so happy that it worked out so well. We had such a great time over here. So I'm really happy that we did this today. Well, thank you to you and your team and to our viewers at home. We hope you enjoyed it. And now let's see what design inspiration we've got in store for you next week on Soplo Home Project. We shine a light on the latest in lighting technology. Learn how it will transform not only your home, but your lifestyle. And now let's check in with Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he has for us tomorrow. Hunter, what's up? Hey there, Elena. Join me tomorrow on SoFlo Health for a beautiful look inside of a Japanese garden right here in South Florida. That's why I'm among all this bamboo after all. Then we head to a restaurant that's making healthy food taste a whole lot better and easier to get. Then Morgan meets up with us and shows us some upper body stretches that'll leave you feeling fantastic. And we round it all out with the top five foods that anyone should add to their diet. It's all right here tomorrow at 1230 on the one and only Local 10 for SoFlo Health. Thanks, Hunter. We will definitely be watching. And to our viewers at home, we hope you enjoyed this extra special episode. And we hope to see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram 